Nowadays, people in Hong Kong all enjoy the right to express themselves. Young people can express themselves freely, since our society has the capacity to contain people with different voices. Actually, this culture is not new. More than half a century back, we could already hear different ideas in our society. One generation after another has found their space here. Located on Bridges Street, Sheng Wan, the old YMCA Central Building was built in 1918. It has a history of 90 years. Its red walls and green roof tiles stand as the evidence of the fusion of Chinese and Western cultures in the early 20th century. It has witnessed the spread of Western ideas and values to Hong Kong. Look at the cutaway drawing of the building. We can see that different kinds of facilities were set up in this six-story building. A games room, an assembly hall, classrooms and a library, an indoor swimming pool, the first of its kind in Hong Kong, and an indoor a dangled runway. These facilities were all new to the Chinese young people then. Now the indoor runway has become a sheltered workshop. However, it still stands as the only indoor a dangled runway in Hong Kong. It is part of our heritage. Miss Ching and Dr. Yik were members of the Chinese YMCA in the 1950s. They spent their youth here. Dr. Yik is now their general secretary. At the entrance of the building stands a monument on which the names of its benefactors were carved. They represented people from all walks of life. The nurture of young people began to receive attention at that time, which was an important era in history. The The assembly hall offered a place for different kinds of cultural activities in the early 20th century. In February 1927, a famous writer in the new cultural movement was invited to give two talks here. He was Lu Shun. Chinese 外國人,凡是稱讚中國文化的,都只是以主子自居的一部分。Lu Xun had a very strong Shaoxing accent. It was Xu Guangping who became his wife later that provided interpretation service there. The talk centered around criticism against old Chinese culture. A young participant, Lao Chu, took down the speeches, one of which was published in Wakyu Yapo later. According to his description, the hall was crowded with young people who came to see Lu Xun. Although we cannot estimate the influence of the talks on those young people, the presence of this famous speaker in Hong Kong itself is definitely something to be remembered. 1918年,這座建築物是起好之後,就辦很多活動。其中呢,我們會請一些名人來演講。當然,魯迅是其中一個,我們大家都認識的。Now Now this hall has become a sheltered workshop. It no longer stands as a place for young people to assemble and exchange new ideas. However, its historical meanings will never disappear. At 
展覽啊，其實咧亦都使到呢一個嘅誒呢度旅客的嘅個嗰個禮堂咧，係成為咗一個咧係誒文化嘅場地，亦都可以講係傳播新文化嘅一個中心點。Lucian passed away on the 19th of October 1936. The cultural circles in Hong Kong held a number of mourning activities in the few years following his death to show their respect to this literary figure. The mourning activity in 1940 was hosted by Professor Xu Ti Shan from the Department of Chinese, the University of Hong Kong. Writer Xiao Hong was invited to narrate Lucian's life. The most special thing about this activity was the venue in Confucius Hall on Carolina Hill Road. Confucius Hall was built in 1935. It was donated by businessmen in Hong Kong to promote Confucianism. At that time, Chinese people in Hong Kong did not have sufficient halls to use. Venues of such a scale like Confucius Hall were really rare. The hall soon became an important venue for the cultural circles. Very interesting is that it was a special place for the Chinese 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 Hong Kong people are very open. They don't want to protect some kind of religion, so they don't want to accept something else. Actually, you can see that the Hong Kong is a very open society. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Oh, when I came to this place, I just wanted to think about my own life. The situation of school. <laughs> Mr. Jerk is 85 years old. 70 years ago, he was often here to attend meetings centering around resistance against the Japanese invasion. The time in Confucius Hall changed his life. He participated in activities against the Japanese invasion. Confucius Hall became a place where young people gathered and recognized new cultures. This is a Schools are the place to nurture young people. Hong Kong is a free society where academic freedom and education freedom have always received much respect. In such an environment, we have contained different teaching ideals. In 1946, a private tertiary institute was established on Castle Peak Road, Tun Mun. Although it had only a history of two and a half years, its students developed a common goal when they were together at this place. The institute was established when the Sino-Japanese war was just over and we were in the midst of the Civil War. At that time, members of the Communist Party were hunted by the Guomindang government. Many of them escaped to Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a special place. It is allowed to be different people here. So, the two parties have some issues in the world, and have some issues in the world. 
都係會揾香港作為一個即係暫時咧誒轉移啲人員啊，或者喺度誒匿下嘅咁嘅地方嘅。<笑>黄焕秋 ，former president of Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou, was a founding member of Tata Institute. He said the establishment of the institute was closely related to Zhou Enlai, who became the premier of China later. Zhou Enlai 同志交大啊嘛，系又将香港成为呢个文化活动中心，咁样提噶，因为大批嘅中国嘅精英或者都落咗香港啊嘛。At that time, many leftists sought refuge in Hong Kong and began to teach here. Tate's admission advertisements attracted young people from the mainland and overseas. Because some of the advertisements that I showed, many young professors of Chinese are very famous. Then I started my business in 1947. I came to Tate. I was looking for the dream. 想为祖国服务，但是自己没有本领啊，你要读书才行啊。刚好有那么一个好的机会，那么那么多那个教授。The professors and speakers they mentioned were all famous scholars and politicians. For example, Mao Dun, Guo Moro, Deng Xiaoming, He Xiangning, and Chao Guanghua. Although the school had a strong political background. The students mainly concentrated themselves on their studies. They can still remember their school life clearly. At the beginning, Tata Institute had only one teaching building. Later on, Considering the increasing numbers of students and famous scholars who came to teach, students decided to raise funds to build a hall next to the old building. They called it Democracy Hall, a place to hold different kinds of talks. It was Tate's policy to run the school in a democratic way. In these minutes, we can see the names of student representatives. They were involved in school administration. Tate 嘅年青人喺當時嚟講係好進步嘅，追求係一個自由、開放、民主嘅學風，咁而且係切切實實做得到。老師學生一齊參加學校嗰個發展方向討論嘅模式咧，唔好話喺當時嚟講係先進啦。半個世紀之後嘅香港咧，我都睇唔到有任何一間大學啦、中學或者小學咧係可以做得到嘅。In February 1949, the Hong Kong government issued an order to shut down the institute, charging the school with conducting political activities. But the real cause of the order seemed to be related to China's political situation in 1949. <laughs> After the closure of Tata Institute in 1949, the campus became a dormitory for ministers. Most of the rooms are empty now. The building has been listed as a declared monument since 2004. Tata University is worth preserving because it is a one-to-one. 佢喺一個咁樣嘅歷史嘅條件底下產生嘅，香港嘅地理咧係造就咗佢喺度出現啦。咁啊，我哋睇唔到香港有其他地方有其他時間有可能出現同一個咁樣類型嘅誒建築物，而又有咁樣同樣類型嘅歷史內涵嘅。咁所以達德嘅歷史價值咧係誒極高嘅。
While most students of Tate went back to China in pursuit of their dream when the People's Republic of China was established in 1949, some other scholars left China and came here to teach. They have brought Hong Kong another stream of thought. They were students of the New Asia College, graduating in 1956, the fifth session. Although it was more than 50 years ago, they can still remember things about the college as if it was yesterday. New Asia College was founded by the Chinese historian and philosopher Dr. Qian Mu. He wished to preserve Chinese culture by means of education. In the beginning, the college faced serious financial difficulties. 80% of its students failed to pay these school fees in full. Dr. Chen did mention about this situation in his writings. The college anthem, written by Dr. Chen, tells us how the school strove under hardship. After more than half a century, students can still remember the lessons and the teachers. So The premises on Quailin Street, Sham Shui Po, lasted five years. In the mid-1950s, financially supported by the Yale China Association, an American religious group, New Asia College set up a new campus on Farm Road. In 1963, it combined with two other colleges to become the Chinese University of Hong Kong. The old campus on Quailin Street is going to be demolished soon. Shen Shui Po is going to be redeveloped. The old buildings on Kui Lin Street are going to be demolished. The old alumni's endeavor to preserve this part of history of their alma mater has succeeded. 
it has been approved by the Urban Renewal Authority that a park is going to be built in situ to commemorate the old campus. The liberty of Hong Kong has attracted education organizations of different backgrounds and nurtured the development of different streams of thought. These cultural landmarks are going to stand as the witness of history.